part of being king. Okay. All right. It's like this when lukewarm Christians pray to me. Phone starts ringing. I want you to see my exact expression. I don't want any misconstrued thoughts of how disgusted I am with the lukewarm church. Shouldn't you be talking to the devil instead of me? That's who you're following. Now, I fight with my own daily. How many of you guys listened to my prophets? When I opened the door for you, did you? No, Lord, we didn't go through it. So I fight with my own, and that normally entails one moment, I'm gonna slam my head into this bed for a second while I compose myself here. <clears throat> so I have to fight a church that uses my name over my own sheep is the ridiculousness that the church has become, especially the American church. So part of me, well, <sighs> we're going to go to our authority. We're not going to decide, hey, this is the scripture I want to use. We're going to talk about our actual relationship. <sighs> the New Testament. <clears throat> then those who feared the Lord talked with each other, and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. They will be mine, says the Lord Almighty. In the day that I make up my treasured possession. I will spare them just as in compassion a man spares his son who serves him. And you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. Surely the day is coming. It will burn like a furnace. All the arrogant and every evildoer will be stubble. And that day that is coming will set them on fire, says the Lord Almighty. Not a root or a branch will be left to them. But for you who revere my name, the son of righteousness, your husband, babe, because you can hear my voice, and I know that because I'm giving you my Holy Spirit. You're welcome. Will rise with healing in its wings, and you will go out and leap like calves, released from the stall. Then you will trample down the wicked, they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I do these things, says the Lord Almighty. Remember the law of my servant Moses, the decrees and laws I gave him at Horeb for all Israel. See, I will send you the prophet Elijah before that great and there we go. Whew. You're listening. Good. So I got falsely accused, attacked, the usual, but <clears throat> I'm concerned about your heart, babe. So here's your church, the real one, Jesus Christ, your husband. All right, I love you.